Craig, it's a bit of a probably a bit of a funny half for both, a second half for both sides. But what did you make of the performance overall? Yeah, I thought we were good. Um, yeah, I think that, yeah, there's probably still a couple of things we can improve in, but we done a whole loop of better things, you know, this week, especially with our defence. Obviously, you like to have, you know, they're a really good attacking side. They they can shift the ball and shift the ball quickly. Um, so we knew that was, you know, we'd have to um, work really hard in our line, and you know, when the when the ball goes past you. Uh, today, so in which you know the guys did, they don't, they've done a great job there. Um, yeah, like I say, that's the thing that we really wanted to improve this week. After last week was our defence, and and we did. Um, I think we, you know, I think the game was sort of won and lost there. You know, probably the second half of the first half. You know, they made a lot of mistakes coming out of their own end, and I think that come from a little bit of pressure from us, from our defence, and they were struggling to get out and. Uh, you know, they made a few errors, and while we didn't, we didn't take advantage of those errors straight away. Um, I think the, the pressure built, and then all of a sudden the, the dam busted, and you know we scored, you know, what three tries in the last eight minutes or whatever of that first half. Um, you know, I think that's that was the part that that won us the game, and then you know we had some real desperation with our defence in the second half, with you know Nick um, tackling. I think it was. Um, Young Kennedy down on the sideline, like that was, you know, looked like he was going to score for all money, but, you know, Nick found a way to put him into touch. So, yeah, so like I say, you know, we were just a lot more desperate with our defence tonight, and overall, that's what, you know, won us, this, won us the game and give us that score. Um, uh, Christian, in terms of your fin binning and that, like, how did you see the tackle, and, you know, do you have any concerns that you might not be available for Origin? Oh, probably my first concern is the player. I just hope he's all right. And obviously, you don't go out there and injure someone like that. Um, so I hope he's all right. I've gone and apologised. Um, I don't know. I haven't really watched it, to be honest. So hopefully, I, you know, I think I'd lean on the ground first and then just a bit of a ugly tackle. So I don't, don't know. But, um, yeah, obviously, I wasn't in the team for game one. So I don't know if I was, would even be picked, to be honest. So I've just got to wait and see what happens. Captain should be picked for the Maroons. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, he's been pretty consistent for us all year, and um, you know, especially with uh, you know Joy Arrow being out, like, you know, I'd imagine Christian would be uh, next in line. He was the nineteenth, so uh, I'd like to think that. Um, and also, I suppose, I mean, Maroons are blessed with a lot of out outside backs. We're pretty talented, but Xavier is, you know puts his hand up, I suppose. He seems to be a bit unlucky that he's not, sort of doesn't seem to be in the talk. Yeah, I, I, I thought he would have been picked in the first one, with all due respect. But like, I haven't said that, you know, <laughs> Billy's got a tough job, you know, there's, you know, when you start talk, talking state of origin, there's a, there's a whole heap of players that names come up that, yeah, well, you know, they'd fit in that side good, you know, but, you know, you just, it's, it's really hard to pick 17, you know, so, um, you know, he, he carried on again today with his form. You know, I think his form over the last six or seven weeks has been really consistent and been really good. And um, you know, he's a wonderfully hard worker as well. You know, he, things he wants to work on in his game, he, he always puts the time and effort in, and um, he's getting rewarded for that. Grandma Smith, all right, Craig? Is that again, mate? Sorry. Grandma Smith at, at the end there. Yeah, um, I think it was a bit more precaution. I think his hamstring just tightened up. That doesn't sound real good for a six-day turnaround, to be quite honest. But um, yeah, they just said you know he just felt something, so you know there was no point just going on. You know he was keen to you know finish the game, but there was no no point in you know taking any chances there. And you know, until I suppose the physio has a good look at him and you know works out what exactly sort of went wrong wrong there, he he, uh, he sort of felt it went you know he, he scored that try. So um, yeah, we'll just probably have to wait. To later on tonight or tomorrow to, to find out exactly what uh, what the problem is and or how sorry um, how bad it is. Yeah, we know it's a hamstring problem, but I'm um, not quite sure how bad. Coach um, Nico yourself and that I mean, yeah, um, he obviously didn't have a great game today, but 
you know, what do you make a talk when people say that he, you know, does he can't deliver under pressure and that's why he shouldn't get the number seven jersey for the Blues? Yeah, again, you know, his team got beat, you know, by a um, pretty big score today. That, you know, that wasn't all Nico's fault. You know, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, he's a Dally M winner. He won that last year. Um, he was on the bench for New South Wales, you know, last game and ain't come on for, I don't know, what, five or six minutes, whatever it was. So, you know, it's hard to sit there for 75 minutes and then coming on and, you know, trying to make an imprint, that's that's not easy to do, you know. To me, with um, with Nathan out, I, you know, I, I'd be picking him every day of the week. I think he's done enough over the last 18 months to uh, to prove that he's an origin player. Um, and like I say, I, if it was if it was me, and it ain't, but if it was me, I, I'd be picking him every day of the week. Yeah, I think I'd echo that. I think you look at Cronulla's rise and particularly last year, how well they're gone. And I think he's a great great person and great game manager. I think he's like for like almost for Cleary and a big reason why Cronulla have been so well. So he's a, he's a good friend of us and a um, good friend of everyone at the club. And um, yeah, I really hope he gets picked because you can't judge him on that last game. He'd come on and played in the centres for seven minutes or whatever. I think, um, you know, full preparation where he gets to own the team. And um, yeah, I hope he picks him, uh, you know, just selfishly as a good mate. I think he's a, he's a great player. And with all due respect today, like, you know, like, if there was any of the Cronulla guys up for selection in origin, well, you, because of what happened today, you know, you just go off the one game, you know, and you know, like, I think he's done, done enough, you know, to be the next halfback for New South Wales. Mate, last comment. Craig, you actually played to performance tonight after last week's performance. Uh, yeah. What differences did you notice from the boys today on the field? Oh, uh, you know, there's obviously a couple of things. You know, we're playing at home, which always makes it a little bit easier. Um, but, um, you know, obviously we were, you know, we, our pride was dinner last week, to be to be quite honest. I think it's been 10, 12 years since the, the club's had 40 points put on us in an NRL game. So um, I think that uh, hurt the pride, you know, of the team. And, yeah, we, we should, to be quite honest, that's what we pride our, ourselves on as a club and as individuals. So... Um, that was the, you know, the, the driving force behind today's effort. You know, we were, we just got to make sure. You know, we're learning from that now. You know, I think that's probably has been a bit of an issue for us. We haven't learned from our games and you know, when we've played well, what's worked for us, and you know, really working hard to continue that, and what hasn't been working for us, or the things we haven't haven't done. You know, to make sure we do them. You know, so hopefully, um, you know, well obviously it was a really good performance today. So hopefully we can take the learnings from today and um, you know, bring it into every game. You know, we've got left. Kind of an odd one, but like, do you ever um, like? Oh, I know you're big on two points is two points, but given the tightness of the ladder, like in terms of points differential, do you ever? think well we actually need to get a big win and that because at the end it looks like this season may well come down to that and I think I think you're in negative which was really yeah. unusual for your side yeah I don't think um, one of our guys done yeah you know, we had never been in the negative this time of the year you know so but yeah you know, that that's not a you know you can't go out there thinking yeah you know, we, we got to put 40 points on this week you know like <laughs> that just don't work like that so it's a, it's a matter of getting into your processes and make sure you know you get really disciplined with those processes and you see what happened from there you know like say no one would have come here today expecting that score you know um like say you just got to try and win the game and every how many points you score well you know, you'd be satisfied with that you know and um, but like you say, it is. It, it, it'll probably come down to that a little bit this year to decide the top four or the top eight because of how close the competition is, you know, and it is a close competition. Uh, and then especially this time of year, um, there's some strange things that will happen, you know, or in, you know, during Origin, because of Origin, players out or, you know, sometimes, you know, it's hard to back up after an Origin game when it's only, you know, two or three days, you know. So there's a whole heap of things there that... Um, that, that sort of come into play this time of year, but having said that, I I, I can't remember a, a closest as a competition 
as he says, is and has been, you know. So um, uh, if we just keep, you know, doing our best in games and learning from what happened last week and the week before, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you know, we won't have to look at the ladder too often. You know, you usually get what you deserve and that'll be it. Yeah, he's got a bit of a problem with his eye. I'm um, not quite sure how, how bad it is. Obviously, he couldn't go back out there again. Um, but I think he's actually gone to the hospital to have some, just to make sure, you know, what it is or what it isn't. Um, they don't think it's too serious, but just wanted to check. So hopefully, um, you know, tonight or tomorrow we'll get um, get an idea of actually what did happen, yeah, like, or what the damage is. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, he should be. I think. Um, yeah, no, he should be. He's yeah, he's. Um, He's had about three weeks off. I think that was about what they thought. So he's been training well the last you know, 10 days. So he should be all, 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 okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you.